in fact we contacted the same person who was uh, who was doing it is the one who won that uh, contract and we will conclude that uh, that project chair i'll be very happy to furnish more information in in details uh, because i've seen that it is not in this in this bundle if you can indulge us kindly on the, on our on those uh, 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 ongoing projects that uh, we're speaking about mostly then health the other category of projects were crbc related projects um those were you know drainage uh, improvements in informal settlements there is lighting there is uh, um uh sewer extensions all of those are still being discussed between us and the national government because we said they need to be com concluded at the stage at which they are they haven't helped the community because we you know when you have a hanging sewer connection it is not concluded and so they're coming to around three billion shillings i'd want us again when you have the accounting officer for nms to be able to respond uh, to that in detail because they have not been handed over to us so i cannot give you an answer without authority of documentation or on a matter that is not within our purview what we do since the functions are back to us is pick it up from where we are we're still providing water we're providing roads and, and I'm really grateful to the Senate, by the way. Allow me to, to, to use this opportunity to thank Senators. You have stood for devolution. And fighting for the allocation of money to counties that now has come to 400 billion. Please secure that. Because I've had uh, you know, ideas that that is going to be reviewed downward. 219, Article 219 does not allow. I, I think you cannot have an amendment to DORA. And even the proposed amendment to CARA does not amend DORA. You can't amend uh, DORA through CARA, you know. I'm very proud. This, this is a new financial year. In the last financial year, Nairobi County has raised 12.8 billion, the highest in devolution by any county since devolution started. Our revenues have been 12.8 billion shillings. You know that has never been seen by any county or by Nairobi since the advent of, not even by the NMS. And I keep saying the NMS had all they had the military, they had bombs, they had everything, but they didn't get to that amount. In, the, in our first year, we surpassed seven years. Now we've surpassed all collections. Nairobi Water and Sewerage Company, which is a company and us, fully owned by Nairobi County, has also broken the 10 billion barrier, has collected 10.7 billion um, in terms of collections. The match between billings and collections in history has never been achieved. That has been done courtesy of support um, from, from the Senate. And so I, I want you to know that what you're doing is not in vain, you know, the kind of support that you're giving the county, because now services then are, are felt, despite what is happening, you know, like... Uh, during the last protest, we still collected 30 million, which is low, because this is a season where we should be doing 85 million a day. But we collected 30 million shillings because of decentralizing and digitizing. No, you don't have to come to City Hall to 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 pay those amounts. So just coming back to to this context, is that this answer, both of them, would be best responded to by the person in charge of uh, those projects, and that is the executive office of of the president. I'm very happy and willing to answer what we are expending, appropriating, and executing as the county government of Nairobi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Senator Faki. No, Governor, what we need, we need to have is the document of handover that you executed between you and NMS upon your uh, assuming office. We can, no, the we initial, can, we the can initial contract was for two years, which expired in, uh, I think, March 2022. Then it was extended. And then it was extended. For what period? You see, we need to know. Until what October, period? When was it? It was, it was extended by six months. Oh, six months. Yeah. Then it, then it died. You know, the, the only thing that, that still exists is, this, is the settling of pending outstanding liabilities by them. But there's no function of Nairobi County being handled by the national government anymore. If anything, we are now supporting the national government in our, in, through our school feeding program. You know, we, we have <laughs> reversed it. Because you've seen that we need to feed our kids. We're now feeding 200,000 children every day at five shillings. But next time, we're going to go to 310,000 children at five shillings every single day. You know? So, apart from transferring from Nairobi to National, we've actually done a deed where we're using the... Of course, we're not teaching. The function of education is National. But the facilities are ours. They belong to us. The schools are county schools. Children welfare is a county function. And we are, it's, a, it's actually one of, of, of our most successful programs. Yeah, Chair, Chair, just one thing, uh, yeah, Governor. Just, uh, Senator Sifuna, there is uh, Senator Onyonka ahead of you okay. and Senator Kalwale. Senator Onyonka. <coughs> Thank you, Chair, through you. Uh, Excellency Governor, I don't know why I'm a bit um, I'm uncomfortable. 
chair, and this is the problem I'm having. I don't know what to ask him because he's saying he's in this list just now. No, do I, not, do I, I said I've seen it now. I said, this is what we got in August of Thank 2023. You. Let me then ask you the follow-up question. Yeah. I think that will maybe help me. If you look at all these figures which are listed here, from after you came over, because this is payments between 21, 22, 22 to 23. By that time is when you were sworn in as governor. Yeah. Have you looked at the filing and confirmed that documentation was available, that everything was done meticulously according to the law for these people to have given, you have been given this work? Because I am literally shocked at the amounts of money available. Yeah. One company has been given 1.2 billion. Yeah. That's to what, that's what to, was. to for waste collection. That's what I'm asking was. myself how that money, yeah. what would it have done in Nairobi City County if it was being given, for example, to these youths that are out here in the streets? That's one company. And there are about 14 companies that are getting 800 million, 1.2 billion, 2.6 billion. I've just been looking at this figure, mm. this, these figures. Mm. Have you verified anything? so that then we know what to do, because you have talked about the details that are state house, the AIE holder was the controller of state house, and in fact, they be, yeah, they're they still paying. Yeah, they're still paying. Are you sure that, this is why I said I don't know what to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let, can I give some, no, oh, sorry, just, let me, just let me note because, that. Uh, uh, Governor, I want you to take note, because the, the way I want to manage, because of time, is the questions, even if they are follow-up, I want you to pick them, because then you're able to respond. Senator Kalwale, I want to give you the opportunity to yes. do your follow-up. Uh, Chairman, the reason, Governor, why I asked you the status of the projects that are the reason for these pending bills is because at State House, the accounting officer has the accounts, and the Governor of Nairobi on the ground has the projects. I request you to look at item number 48, 49, and 50 of your document. This company, China Road and Bridge, is asking for 108 million, 248 million, 470 million. You owe it to respond to the issue of value for money. Have you seen these projects? Are they there? Are they there? And if they are not there, what are you doing to alert State House that these billions should not be paid to this company? Senator Sifuna, finally, before I can give one question and then... You know, you know Chair, uh, the Governor has submitted some documents. And Governor, I think, uh, again, I will say this, your team always lets you down. Because if you read the documents you've submitted yourself, they are totally different from what you're saying. I want you to go to the end of the Annex D. There's Annex E and Annex F. Uh, you have not paginated again, of course, but I don't know if we are there together. At the end of Annex F, are we there? Uh, D. Oh, ha, yes, yes. yes. At the end of Annex F, F, F. F, yes, yes. Yeah, Governor, are yes. we together? Yes, I'm there. At the end of Annex F, there is number two there that asks, indicate plans, if any, put in place by the office of the president to ensure that all contractors are paid. Now, when you talk of plans for repayment of contractors, you are contradicting our agreement at PAC by saying Nairobi City County plans for payment of suppliers owed by the now defunct Nairobi Metropolitan Service mm. after reviewing the status of work done involves several key steps to ensure transparency, fairness, and accountability. You are saying your government will pay. Yet, the, the is, position uh, before PAC... Yeah, this is wrong. That's what I, I'm, I'm trying to bring you to this. Yeah. You need to de de tell the committee whether you stand by this position or the position you gave to PAC mm. that these debts are not due from the Nairobi uh, yes. county yes. government. They are a charge to state house. You have even talked about prioritization of payment. All this document, uh, Governor, are we to believe, because it's on your letterhead from the CEC, Finance and Economic Planning Affairs, what is the position? Are we as the people of Nairobi paying this amount, or are we not paying this amount? Chair, I will say just one last thing. This is criminality. 
It's absolute criminality. Because if you look at, uh, say, item number 297 there, on the list of, uh, under Annex, uh, this should be the first one, Annex A, you will see that the same company is charging the Nairobi Metropolitan Services for hire of machines, heavy equipment that is used in collection of garbage, and then charge them again for the service of uh, collection of garbage. Same time, you understand? Even the so same the, date. Yes, the, the concern that uh, Senator Halwale is raising is very valid. Yeah. And Governor, you must draw to us a correlation between these pending bills, especially in the area of uh, solid. solid waste management, and the problems we are going through currently as a county. Because there is hue and cry from all over the place that the county government is not collecting garbage. The other day we were very embarrassed uh, on Citizen TV uh, from the story from Kangeni. I'm sure you saw the story. So, connect it for the committee. What are the challenges you are facing just for waste collection alone because of this problem of unpaid pending bills to the NMS? Okay, you have your mic off. Oh, sorry. Okay, Governor, I just want to, you know, the, the, I, I'm, I was trying to get a very systematic approach because the issues of concern here is not an issue that is going to put to rest. Unfortunately, uh, this committee is not privy to your engagement with PAC. However, we've never started anything without bringing it to its logical conclusion. Yeah. The issue that is here is that we have a pending bill of 16 billion shillings. That is what is... Uh, in, in, in the information with us. As to other side information you have of it has been brought down to 12 billion is a different story altogether. As I said, it's informal. Yes. Now, the issues of concern is because uh, uh, we haven't even interrogated the document you've brought. And uh, we are supposed to interrogate these documents thoroughly. What we want to fix is the responsibility. Who is responsible for liabilities incurred under Nairobi Metropolitan Services, number one. Number two, uh, and I want you to come in very systematically because then it informs our formal engagement. Number two, the question is, at the point of termination, whether it was natural or otherwise, did you have documented termination that transfers back the services back to you as Nairobi City County? And if that is there, we need the documents. Okay. Sure. Number three, yeah. you, you transferred functions to an entity called Nairobi Metro, Metropolitan Service. Okay? But it is your function. Responsibility lies with you again to say, for example, me, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very happy to hear that uh, the State House has accepted to foot that bill. But... The onus is upon you to verify that these projects for which payments are going to be done actually exist on the ground. It's not enough for you to say, Governor, uh, we have 16 billion, but it was under NMS, and now I've taken it back, and uh, the responsibility is uh, uh, State House to pay. If State, State House is paying those projects in the name of Nairobi City County, how does that miss your responsibility they're, they're, as a they're, governor? Chair, they're not paying in the name of Nairobi City County. They're paying in the name of NMS, but which is a national government entity. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes. I mean, now that you've engaged me on that. Yeah. Is Nairobi Metropolitan Services a legal entity in existence? Can it sue and be sued? It, it is, is it established? Is it anchored in law? It, and you are an expert in this issue. Uh, the reason why I'm trying to say is you transferred functions. And when I say you, they are Nairobi, it's Nairobi City yeah. County yeah. to an entity. And I have not gone into the question of whether or not Nairobi Metropolitan Services is a legal entity to start with. Mm. What we have here is a situation where we need to protect. If these monies were legally incurred and the projects are in existence, we want to protect the contractors to get their money. Okay. If the projects are non-existent, we want to protect the government not to pay money that has not been earned, you know, in order to make sure that this happens. So the point that we want to get here is it is not enough 
you know, for you to say, for example, at the Nairobi city governor, uh, that, uh, you know, this issue is uh, Nairobi Metropolitan Service. But Nairobi City County transferred functions for which these liabilities were, have been incurred. Those functions have been transferred back to you. And there is a list here in front of us of pending liabilities in lieu of projects. Are these projects in existence? Have you been able to verify that they do exist? You, you understand? Yes, sir. And then, and so that we're able to guide. And, and the reason why we have not even delved into what you have presented, whether they're okay or not, we want to fix responsibility somewhere. And this responsibility cannot be easily fixed only on the state house. Uh, because immediately you came in, because of the going concern concept, the perpetual continuity that was discussed by the senator is that you will be deemed to have taken responsibility for the project, whether complete or incomplete, because they are yours now. Okay? So get to this so that we engage. And uh, if you don't have sufficient information before us, then we will give you a little bit of time, because it is not something that can be, you know, really shelved away. We have to process it to its logical conclusion to a point where then we have fixed the responsibility with someone, Number one. Number two, then, verification of these liabilities has taken place, collaborated by an independent entity, whether that independent entity is going to be commissioned through resolution of this committee or requesting the Auditor General to be able to verify if these projects actually do exist or not, and, and then maybe direct in, in other words. Please, uh, you know, and, and I'm avoiding where this member should go into what you have submitted, because a lot of other issues will come out, including one that was just picked by Senator yeah. Sifuna, which says you are responsible as Nairobi City County to pay these liabilities and you're making plans. And Chair. your initial statement contradicted with your presented document. Chair, I'll, I'll, I'll allow me to say that uh, when I saw what is written in this response, I actually asked that the County Secretary expunge uh, this, because it is not what we are doing. It was agreed at IBEC. It was agreed at the summit, which is the highest decision-making organ of, you know, according to the law, uh, where there's a president and governors, that all outstanding NMS liabilities are to be sorted out by the, na the national government. So this uh, allow me to expand these two parts. What is there above um, the annexes is documentation by them by the people who you should ask these details. What we have done as a county, number one, we were the first to ask for the audit by the Auditor General and the verification. I gave you the example of two uh, projects. I said one is this solid waste management, and I'll get to that comprehensively. But number two is this hanging project, this CRBC, that you're talking about, the China Road and Bridge Corporation, which we are pushing for the government to conclude the national government. They need, they need to conclude them. We have seen where the roads were done, halfway, the sewer extensions, we have seen. We have seen uh, more than 360 kilometers of cables for power, you know. We've seen more than 11,000 streetlights that are in their stores, you know. But until government concludes that, and that is what is ongoing, uh, we had a session between the, ourselves and the national government, chaired by the president and I, you know, and his ministers and my CCs to agree on the conclusion of this hanging project and further support to Nairobi County, as the constitution um, envisages. Um, and I, I, don't want to, I don't want to explain for them, because I'm not the one who's paid these people these amounts, or put them, but the clarity I can give you, hire of machinery um, or heavy equipment is different from solid waste uh, collection. Hire of equipment and machinery is what happens at the dam site. You know, those, uh, what do you call those machines? The dozers and the compressors that actually move the garbage from one cell to another. The solid waste collection and transportation is a trucks that are in different sub counties, you know. So that is different. You can have a cup. it's a different tender. You can have a tender for machinery that is purely at uh, Dandora. Then you can have the one for collection, which is what we are phasing out, you know. And 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 and, and I'll get into I'll get into that. But high of heavy equipment because if you hide it. Um, like what you've pointed out, a center line, and this again, I'm, I'm issuing the disclaimer, this is their documentation, is their machinery at Dandora. But center line also has been allocated a sub-county from which to collect uh, garbage. Chair, if you allow me, 
the termination, the, the documentation that you saw us signing between uh, ourselves and the, attorney, the then Attorney General, um, Kihara, and the then uh, Solicitor General, together with the former NMS Director, can be availed to you. It was acknowledging that the entity no longer exists. Its perpetual successor is the office of the President. That is the perpetual successor of that national government entity. That is why they are the ones who are paying suppliers, not Nairobi County government. So allow me to, to expand those two sections. Yeah? Um, and, and this is information from that first report of Handwell. These this, this are, are the bills um, that we have at the national government. There is no one supplier of NMS paid at Nairobi County here at City Hall. No. Number two, we ourselves had questions. Because I was the Senate of Nairobi at that time. Nairobi County government gave to NMS 27 billion shillings. On top of the 27 billion shillings, and I've said this before, there were presidential projects, you know, like uh, Uru Park, um, you know, some which were what, what they call presidential flagship uh, projects. In addition to that, because what you give them cannot be a pending bill. Because we were still having, uh, you know, this cash, you have cash to pay it. On top of that, they then incurred 16 billion. So if in two years, a county whose shareable revenue at that time was, I got it at 15 billion when I became senator, we pushed it to 19 and now it's at 20. Expending more than 20 billion, more than 40 billion, 27 plus 16, on four functions, yet there are 14 county functions, is something that we asked the Auditor General to specifically look into an audit. You know, there's a lot that was done in terms of uh, Cabro in the CBD. We're spending much less. If you go right now to River Road, Tomboya, uh, the whole of, you know, Race Coast Road, Aka Road, which is now Kenneth Matiba Road, we're doing that work. Unfortunately, now during Mandamano, they found the Cabros and they used them for the wrong reason. But we are doing that at a lower rate. If you look outside Parliament before you open this building, we did all this work here. Yeah, this uh, square you have over here, at a much less cost than what they were expending, and on top of which we are raising much more revenue. You know, so that audit, the verification that you're asking about, the entity, the competent entity to verify is the Office of the Auditor General, and they are on, they are on that. So I, I would ask that when you invite the NMS. Uh, represented by the executive officer of the president, also ask the Auditor General to present you and furnish you with those reports, because we have asked for them. There must be value for Nairobians' money. There must be value, you know, for their money. Many of the buildings they built calling them hospitals are not equipped. We're the ones who have come in and bought equipment. If you go to Moja 2 today, we have Kenya's first public eye hospital. There's no other public hospital in this country that we converted, because it was just a building. Chair. Okay, uh, well, let, let me give Senator Eddie. I think you've. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm coming back to you because uh, the, you know every response you are giving is raising more. <laughs> no, that's good. That's why I'm here. Chair, yeah. chair. I'm happy uh, to be. Here. Let, me, let, me, let me give Senator Eddie. Chair, chair I don't want to trivialize anything that the Senate of Nairobi has said, and I think that it is. Uh, important to stress that where you're doing good work that is fine but i think that we are trivializing the weight of this question and chair just on a point of order i wished that we had started with the with the oath to the governor Why? Oh. Uh, because of what is presented here because uh, we are getting a lot of stories that i think that would have been summarized by simple written responses to what the senator asked on this document because when you talk about pending bills chair it's not about the act of payment that is important it's about how those pending bills affect other aspects of nairobi county including whether the services were given or even if the continuing existence of those pending bills are affecting any services that are continuing in Nairobi County. That's how I get it. Mm. So that I was expecting the governor of Nairobi to indicate to us that in this uh, transfer deed, when we were doing this transfer of these services back to the county,
these were my stipulated responsibilities with regards to these pending bills on what I would follow up as the Chief Executive Officer of Nairobi under Article 179 of the Constitution. And this is what remains for the control of budget, which is what is simplifying to be an action of payment. But more than action of payment is what the Honorable Senator of Kakamega is saying. Have you been able to, interg to interrogate whether those services are being given to Nairobi? Have you been able to interrogate whether when those spending bills are not paid, how will they impact the continuity of those services in Nairobi? So I, I think that for the purposes of moving forward, uh, Chair, let us not interact on narrative. Let us interact on some written document that can be a basis for reference for us. And the first one for me would be, can we be able to have a glance at this transfer deed, where it was articulated that the control of by, or, or the control at the office of the president would be able to do this payment. But me, as the CEO of this county, this will be my responsibility with regards to this pending project and pending payments. Because otherwise, we will be having a back and forth narrative for which we don't have basis for even following up with the office of the president, the other office of the president. Okay. Uh, Senator Hackey is not speaking. Chairman, yeah, yeah, to add on what Senator Edia said, we need to look at the value for money in these projects. Because if you consider uh, a pending bill since uh, on, a, on a project, uh, like the sewer projects or the road projects, from 2022 up to now, and uh, we are still waiting because we don't know when the government will get money to pay the, con the contractor so that he can now hand over or he can proceed to conclude the project. So the issue of value for money is very important because those uh, services are not currently being provided, and yet that's what money we asked the order general. That's what we asked. Senator Anyanka. Chair, I don't know whether I'm the one who's confused or something is totally wrong. What are we here interrogating? Chair, what we are interrogating is that uh, tons and tons of money has been paid for a service. I am trying to find out whether the current CEO of Nairobi County is aware whether this payment, this payment were made legally and according to the PFM Act. And I've been trying to listen to what the governor is saying. And what he's saying is he actually doesn't know what you people call him here for. So can we get the status controller, get the governor, get the audit, internal audit department of the county government on Nairobi and let's sit and ask them how much they have paid, what money, they, whether these people who are being paid, I would like, like the governor to tell me, the people that he found when he came in as governor, did he find that they were satisfied? that these bills are either been paid, not paid, or they were actually legit legitimate bills. Because, Chair, some of these payments have, have scared me. I swear in the name of God. I've never seen money like this. Uh, okay. Senator, uh, Chair. Shakila, Thank you, Chair. Then, uh, uh, maybe this is out of context. I'm just concerned whether the governor is concerned about these pending bills, more so on the heavy hire of heavy machines. Are these machines which you cannot buy yourselves as a county and be able to give the services to this uh, Nairobi because uh, hiring of these machines are costing billions and these are the billions which you can buy your own machines and give these services and uh, st stop incurring these big bills. Thank you, Chair. Senator uh, uh, Kalwale. Mr. Chairman, watching your body language you're about to make a critical decision before you make with due respect governor with due respect governor I have been the chairman of public account longest in the history of the Republic of Kenya five years in the National Assembly three years in the Senate I know how to look at these documents with due respect, you are ill-prepared to appear before this committee this morning. I don't want to say your team is incompetent. Why? That you are asking to expunge a section of your own response 
on this floor tells me that you are seeing this document for the first time in this meeting. Uh, can I, can I, sir? Can I, sir? Mm. Uh, can I, sir? Just take note of Governor, if that is the case, then either your team is incompetent or you have no respect for public funds. You cannot just come before us and tell us, allow me to expand the following. Where were you? Why didn't you read? Why didn't you hold a pre-meeting with your able officers? And all these people, Governor, all these people are professionals. And these professionals, the CEOs who wrote this, cannot have lost the fact that there is a deed of, I mean, a deed of transfer that provided that the guy in State House is the one to pay. Or if you thought, we would not notice. Thank you, sir. Okay, Senator Tabitha. Uh, thank you, Chair. I've just been very keen listening. And uh, I want to say that if, uh, Governor, you would have taken the first opportunity to actually do the remarks in terms of the background history as far as the role of NMS is concerned, maybe we will not be having the kind of question that is actually popping up. Case example, the issue of the, the transportation uh, in terms of the solid waste and the hired machine, because you're trying to explain it, but uh, if it had even come earlier in terms of what brings the difference for members even to understand that there are machines at that, that uh, it's called Dandora dump site uh, that normally push that way and there's the waste from the constituency uh, if, if you had begun actually with more remarks and explanation of this particular history but here we are what, what is coming out which I wanted the clarity is how much was uh, given to uh, the national government through NMS from Nairobi County what does the report say I've heard you mention a figure of 27 billion then which raises the question of then how much has been was transferred because for them to be able to procure these jobs, then they had a budget, then there was an agreement indicating that this is the money we are going to spend for this particular project that NMS has taken up, and these are the funds that are going to be transferred from Nairobi County uh, to NMS so that you can be able to now... Uh, Remove yourself from this issue of the pending bill. The other just major concern is the issue of the projects that are existing. At what level they are they? Because the issue that you have, and I know Chair will be ruling, is to give you more time to be able to ensure you have enough annexes for this committee moving forward. Thank you, Chair. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Governor. I'll give you the chance to respond. Uh, but I want you to understand that in this committee of finance, We've never started anything that we've not, you know, brought to logical conclusion, number one. Number two, the issues that have come before us, and it is an issue that we really want to systematically process. And having been there as a governor for 10 years, I know you felt a bit agitated when Harwale said maybe these documents, you've just seen it uh, for the first time. But I want to tell you, in every audit or appearance before the Committee of Parliament, I've always sat with my team and thoroughly interrogated, even including the evidence that they have shared as technical team. And I've acted as devil's advocate to be able to ask the right questions if they're incomplete and some documents are missing or it doesn't make sense. So what Senator Kalwal was trying to say is, is important uh, because I haven't, if you realize the whole of this engagement, I haven't delved into what you have submitted uh, to us. Uh, I have not made any reference to any page. Reason being, I want to first try and get uh, the exhaustive responsibility where it lies, and then uh, you try to exonerate yourself from the responsibility of what has happened under uh, Nairobi Metropolitan Service. And uh, that, we've said, maybe in terms of payment, but in terms of value for money and whether or not this project actually exists, you have full responsibility as the current governor because you cannot just say it happened somewhere else and it's done. 
Now, I want to give a bit of guidance, but before I do that, I want to give you the opportunity to say something. And thereafter, because we cannot, uh, of course, progress on this issue because there's a lot of missing issues that I want uh, furnished to the committee mm. before we can engage. Okay. But let me just give you the opportunity to say something before I make that ruling. Yeah, I take my work very seriously. And uh, that is why I said when we went through this, I don't want Senator Kaloli to, to listen to yeah, kindly. Yeah. Yes. And that's why I said when we went through this, I asked my county secretary to expand and to withdraw. Not today, when we went through this. Because this is not the... In fact, I told them, why, why are you explaining on behalf of another entity? Because you cannot verify that Clinton production was AFI, what not, that was being done by the national government. So that is what I, I, I meant to say. And which is why today, if you, if you, I mean, if you look, I have given my responses, not by reading any document, but by explaining myself. So this response by the county is what I'm saying. I asked them to withdraw. The response on these issues is what I'm giving verbally. And a written response by a county government is to be signed by the governor. That is the procedure, isn't it? So this was just to give you information of what they had, you know, the status. But I will give you my, the response myself. I asked them yesterday when we went through it and the day before that you, can't, you cannot send this. It's like asking me to give you the ownership of a company. I'm not the entity to do that. It's a business uh, registration services. So I'll, I'll allow us to, to leave that at that kindly, uh, Chairman. The long and short answer is this. Oh, point to order, Chair. Mm. Governor, I, 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 cannot, I cannot allow you to get away. <laughs> you know for a fact I cannot allow that to go. No, I will... I Governor, will. do you understand the import of putting a letterhead on a document? Do you know what it means for you to have this emblem on top of a document? It means it is a document Chair, from the Nairobi City what, what I'm saying is that I asked the county secretary to, and he can confirm. I asked them yeah. to withdraw this response. So you, you I not, asked them. I, I think, Chair, you should not accept. Eh? No, just one minute, Chair. But we can, we can You should it. not accept a, a county executive to come and say, I was just sharing something. Governor, that's unacceptable. No, no, no. And no, you know it. No, you don't understand, what, matters, I, you don't understand are, what I'm saying. Okay. I, Chair. Yeah, Governor, I want to stop you at that for very good reason because I've mentioned, I've mentioned already every time we've given you an opportunity it raises more questions and more queries. Uh, just, and, just, and just, just allow me to finish before you give directions. One, one, one minute, uh, Madam Vice Chair. Let me just uh, uh, bring this because the response you've shared with us, Honorable Senators, is response that is marked Office of the Governor yes. and the County Secretary, and uh, the response, the response is signed by the County Secretary, who is an accounting officer on behalf of the office of, of the Office of the Governor, and the Governor is his seat. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why I'm stopping you is that, uh, in in all sincerity, Governor Sakaja, you've not taken this statement seriously. And I, I, I have to put it as candidly as possible. Uh, I, I, I sit in a very unfortunate position with wealth of experience in devolution and responses to this issue. You've been there as a senator uh, with the same experience and now as a governor. So don't get defensive. You know, the issues here is you've not taken this very seriously. Now, I'm sending you back and within the next 14 days furnish this committee first. I refer back to the letter that was written to you and what the letter asked in relation to this question. And further furnish this committee with resolution of IBEC for the payment of pending bills incurred by NMS which clearly stated and fixed responsibility somewhere get the mutual consent agreement for termination of the deed of transfer so that we're able to fix responsibility That's somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that in that, we want to know the issue is not just the responsibilities uh, with control of uh, set of controller, but more, what have you agreed to be your responsibility? What has controller, state of controller agreed to be the responsibility of 
the executive on, on behalf of the executive and, and that needs to be clear and you are raw handover report that is what we need in okay. terms of what have you don't have to make it uh, look nice or anything what were you handed over by anybody on behalf of that so that we get to that yeah, that is there, yes so that thereafter then please because uh, you know we get the verbal responses to enrich the written responses that you provide to the committee now i want you to give the committee a written response okay in relation to what you've been asked uh, in in consultation with your technical teams so that then you can enrich it if there are follow-up questions that come from the committee members you're able to say uh, based on that you can enrich if it's not covered and you have 14 days to be able to respond to this and that goes for the other two questions no 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 chair uh, I, I strongly object to that line because the second question is more important than the first question the first question is dealing with historical issues now, the current situation is something that i am more interested in because even the governor uh, for instance, I had asked on the current status of waste disposal in Nairobi. He needs to speak to this. One minute, uh, Senator Edwin. Mm. Uh, Edwin, look at your time. I have all the time. This no, is my job. The, no, no, it's not all the time. We are supposed, <laughs> to, be only the, job we are to, supposed to be in the chamber at 2.30. And the time has run out. The reason why I'm saying, if we started issues that is un not concluded, you know? On the current status, I think you should give the governor. No, I can give. I, yes. I'll give this, the governor response. Yes. But the issue that I've said is, there are two statements. You have a statement on pending bills in Nairobi County. I don't want to open that. That's, that's what that, I'm saying. That's historical. We can leave that. When one minute. I, I, can I give you an example, Chair? One minute, Edwin, and uh, so that at least we can manage this uh, systematically. We have uh, called the governor here on three issues. What I've ruled on is on the statement of Senator Kalwale what needs to be done. Number two, I've ruled on two issues, the two your statement and the issue of locker, because we don't have the time to, you know, execute them now. That is my ruling. Now, if there's any follow-up question that uh, was asked and you want the governor in conclusion to be able to respond, that's okay. But that ruling stands for that, that, your right. statement and the statement of Floca, and also the statement of Kalwale in terms of Nairobi Metropolitan that, Services. That's fine, Chair. So when you come back in two weeks, we will also invite the controller, or state house controller, the Auditor General, yes. and we will have the owners of the other statements also present, so that they will be able to execute these issues properly. Now, what was, what is it that the governor has not responded to? Yeah, that governor, you want to respond governor to? this is an opportunity because I had asked what the relationship uh, is between this current problem, especially when it comes to waste disposal. And you had said you would respond and tell the committee what you have done as a county government because the stories that we hear out there is that the reason we have uh, garbage collection problems in Umoja, uh, Umoja 2, in Ako, in places like Kangemi is because this contractors, these ones, are sabotaging you or they are on strike. So this is the... I'm telling you, okay. so that, is, a big that, issue. That, that is very true. It's a big issue. That's, that's, why, that's why, Chairman, you know you come from Mandera. I am from Nairobi. Allow the governor to tell us, because people ask me these questions. Yeah, no, I, I know where he lives. There's no problem of garbage there. I know where he lives. <laughs> so, Chair, allow, allow the governor, please, just for the... Uh, right for the that. sake of people of Nairobi, let him explain what is going on in garbage you know, collection. First, uh, Governor, is the ruling I gave you very clear, so that at least we move from that part. Then you can respond yeah. on the issue of the follow-up question in your closing remarks. Chair, yeah, the ruling on uh, the first two issues yeah. is, uh, is clear in terms of the deal of transfer. In fact, our response on the whole issue would have been all these bills are to be sorted at the state house. We can talk about value for money, what is going on, etc. But just for the record, all pending bills of NMS are sorted at the executive office of the president and not the Nairobi County government. No, 
kindly do not explain yeah. okay. because I've, I've ruled already. So, so now we shall, we shall, in your closing remarks, we shall give the documentation and that if, you have asked for. If, <laughs> yes, if yeah. you want this in writing, the oh, that would be good. The technical team will write oh, right. to you in what we need from you okay. in all the statements. That but in your closing remarks, can you respond to? Uh, maybe full of question that maybe I can, I can I can just give a highlight and uh, if you want a more comprehensive response on that I can also issue it. Yeah? When you look at these bills, this is what has been happening in the city of Nairobi. That solid waste management has been about money; it has been about business. When you got in, we resorted to change that model because this is not sustainable. The amount of money being paid out to these contractors, whether it is high of machinery, whether it is collection from certain areas, is not sustainable. In fact, what we've done, Chair, is number one, we started in building our own internal capacity. We've acquired machinery. We're increasing the, our fleet. I have 24 brand new refuse compactors that are coming out in the next few days. We, we got uh, how many tippers were there? 24 new tippers. And right now we're in discussions to actually get a fleet of, hand, of 200. Because we must do it as a county. The amount of money we pay is enough for us to, to have it. What we want to do, secondly, we increased our human capacity. We had 3,500 young people in what we call the Green Army. If you go around the city, you will see them. You will see them collecting, you know, clearing the drainages, doing the, you know, you saw them doing that. They're employees of Nairobi County Government. Because you must deal with the human resource and the equipment and the fuel to keep it going. The next stage we are going to chair is we're setting up a standalone agency of waste management. Just like Johannesburg has what they call Pick It Up. It's a company that does waste management. Uh, Lagos has the La, uh, Lauma, Lagos Waste Management Authority. We want to set up a Nairobi Waste Management Authority that then looks at the entirety of waste management, circular economy, waste to energy. We have signed with the China National Electric and Engineering Company a project to, 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 to produce 45 megawatts of energy from our garbage. This has been discussed for decades. It has never been able to be implemented. We're the ones who've gone to that level. But that authority, just like we have Nairobi Water and Sewerage Company, which was a department before of the city, will now have you know, a director general and the requisite professionals who handle all aspects of solid waste management, who make sure that every household, like it was when we grew up in the city, we used to have a small fee, and there was this Camero that would come and collect uh, garbage on Thursdays and on Tuesdays, working with these CBOs, because a lot of the problems you talk about is because of these CBOs illegally dump. And so the scheduling of when the trucks come to collect that garbage, the logistics needs an entity that can manage that. Material recovery facilities, which you want to do, sorting out of different types of garbage. So those with calorific value are used for, you know, for, for energy. Those that are organic can be converted into fertilizer. So we have an entire plan around that. But the reason why the city for the last two years had been struggling with this is because of these entrepreneurs. Excuse but me. It's all uh, about billions. Uh, no, it's important, Chair. It's imp I, I just had him raise a question. Yes. And I thought it's important. I'm, I'm just mentioning. I want you to be honest. The reason why the system is not functional is because of the corruption. corruption. It's yeah. because of, not you... Yeah. Governor, listen to me first. Yeah. Please listen to yeah, me. But you know, because there is a you lot. Say, I was, when you say you want me to be honest, it means I was not honest. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm honest. You are scattering around the issue. The fact is that you are not getting the requisite government approvals. You are not getting teams to run. You are not getting uh, um, the government to give you. Bear me. Please don't answer for me. My governor, thank you. I'm concluding. You are not getting the government to give you the support because there are too many people who have a vested interest on how the garbage is going to be collected in Nairobi. And that is the challenge of God. And I think we need to start talking about these things. My governor. Uh, uh, Chair, Chair, if you would allow, I pick it up from uh, where Senator Sifuna had uh, actually uh, mentioned. The question was the issue where we are in terms of the pending bills, uh, uh, the NMS and everything. The current situation has pending bills as far as garbage collection is concerned. Contractors and suppliers are not being paid. We are still, the county is still in the same, same mess. Apart from pending bill, we still have waste within the city. That is what we are asking as far as the current situation is concerned for the suppliers being paid. 
they have used their money to where they are and they need to get paid to avoid the issue of the pending bills and also to make the city clean as you've all their slogan goes let's let let's make nairobi work you should give full disclosure to the committee no i'm just asking as far as the pending bills are concerned <laughs> give, give full disclosure of conflict are you are you accusing the senator no, no, of conflict no, of no, no, no. we want to hear this no 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 let, let the German, truth come German, out. We in the Senate are in the week of truth. Yes. The week in the the of Nairobi <laughs> let him say. Because, <laughs> Honorable Chair, wait, just one minute, uh, yeah. Honorable Alwan. Can now, I just say one thing, Chair? No, one now, thing. The, just one a minute. One minute, Onyoka. Edwin, Edwin Sefuda. One minute, Onyoka. Edwin, I will speak for I the committee. I only want an orderly way of executing. That's why I've asked my colleagues to allow me to ask. Uh, can I have a copy of the standing orders, uh, please, Honorable yes, no, Clark? So, the standing orders require that if you are going to have pecuniary interest in a matter, as a member of a committee of the Senate, you must disclose that pecuniary interest. If the governor has made an allegation against a member of your committee of being conflicted in a matter, you as chairman must rule on that uh, position. You cannot wish it away. And in this week of truth in the Senate, we will not allow you, chairman, to get away with this. We will not allow it. Now, Senator Edwin, what I'm trying to rule on is order in terms of engagement. Now, you cannot only speak and expect the governor to have heard for him to respond to what you are trying to say. Okay? What I need is please request to be given an opportunity with the mic to say something so that the other person can say, but if all of you speak at the same time, so what are we executing? Yes, exactly. So what I was trying to guide, so you don't say the chairman rule on this. The issue just came up and all of you are talking. We are not in a marketplace. You know, we just want to make sure we have a very orderly way of executing. Yeah, almost all of so us are not comes, talking. Listen, what comes from you must be very clear so that it is understood clearly. So that everybody speaks. Who has anything else to add on the issue that has been discussed? Yes. Mr. Chairman, the statement made by this, the governor of Nairobi is profound. One of the supplementaries I was going to raise after him responding on the senator for Nairobi was, could he tell us the names of companies that are currently carrying out the important business of collecting waste? Why, Mr. Speaker? Because of what exactly he has said, conflict of interest. We have members of parliament who are doing business with the county of Nairobi. They want to make the governor of Nairobi to look bad. And even before we ask them to disclose their pecuniary interest, they are back home flashing the money, Mr. Chairman. And when we raise in our constitutional responsibility oversight questions, they have the audacity to offer us an opportunity to come and build our churches in the Luyan Nation. And therefore, if your vice chair is one such a member of parliament, let the governor set the record clear. We cannot run this country if we are going to be afraid here today and then allow the children to come and come to kill us in parliament the way they did the other week. It is a serious matter, Mr. Chairman. Please let the governor be heard. Uh, the interjection actually came from you guys. It's not from the chair. <laughs> so <laughs> the governor was talking before interjections came. Now, Onyonka. Let, let him say, sir. He Very was good. saying something. Very good. <laughs> Sen okay. Chair, do you know why I'm insisting on this? Because I'm one of the people who's accused of doing business with the county of Nairobi when I actually do not. So it is important. If, they are, if the governor has not mentioned any name, but it's a good opportunity because I've heard people saying I'm also a garbage collector, <laughs> that I have pending bills in Nairobi that they are being paid through the back door. I want this thing to be cleared. If there are members of this committee or members of the Senate or National Assembly doing business with the county government of Nairobi, this is the opportunity. Because this week, this week, 
This week is very different from any other week, Chairman, and we must bring this matter to a close. Now, Honorable Members, before I give the Governor to respond to the issues as requested by the Members, in the interest of managing time, this will be the last interjection. I will allow him to respond and we are closing at that. Are we in agreement? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Moshmoa, Governor, you've heard them clear, and it's loud and clear. Yes. And uh, the last two days, the Senate has been doing what is called uh, a moment of self-reflection. That is good. You have an opportunity to say everything and anything that you want to say because you've been given an open check to make a statement. Over to chair, 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 um, where I was, um, was first of all in addressing uh, the issue of management of... Sorry, just before you conclude, as because you gave a very good uh, plan, yeah. m uh, my interest on behalf of Nairobi residents is in the meantime, in the short time, yeah. what are you doing to make sure that the city is kept clean. In the, include that yeah, yeah. because I just went to Feather Dandora route and I was very embarrassed yeah. and I was attending a burial in that area. So in the in the short term, despite the challenges, what are you doing? Over okay. to you. Chair, Chair, I think I think um I've explained what the challenge had been in the issue of solid waste management and uh, Senator Onyonka you know has described it how he sees it. It's a lot of this interest. And I've said that the county needs to be able to have the full capacity to collect and process solid waste. And that is why we are investing in equipment. We are moving into that county uh, agency, uh, Nairobi, and you'll help me find even a good name for it, but Nairobi Waste Management Authority. If you look during your time, just Google the Joe, Joe Bag or Lagos and see how it is structured. It is really, Nairobi has gone into that place because collection of close to 3,000 tons um, of garbage a day is in itself an enterprise, you know. And so that is the, the direction we're moving towards. In the meantime, it is really about uh, number one resources. For number one, servicing our own fleet, you know. So you need to service your fleet in terms of fuel, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, spare parts, CTC. And number two, you need to make sure that those who you're still contracted for certain areas are to be paid. Now, without proper or regular exchequer disbursements to counties, what we collect as our own source revenue is then fully dedicated to paying salaries. Because our salary is around 1.4 billion, you know. And so if we're in a situation like we are today where, uh, before last week, counties had not gotten uh, exchequer for three months, then the operations and maintenance then suffers, you know. It suffers. And so... That timely expenditure, you know, of, of I mean, uh, uh, releasing of exchequer, then sorts out because the equipment is there, but you need to be able to pay for fuel, you need to be able to pay, uh, you know, the contractors. And the reason why I interjected at that point was Senator Tabitha was then almost shouting about current contractors without disclosing the facts that they are. Now, I am not the registrar of businesses, so I don't know uh, beneficial ownership. But I will tell you, senators and MPs actually push for certain businesses to be paid. You know? That is true. Senators and MPs push for businesses to be paid, contractors to be paid, lawyers to be paid. You know, I will not mention names because that is not why I'm here. But there is, there always is that pressure. This week I've been telling people because they're panicking at the close of the financial year that the 4.3 billion shillings you're spending in major. I, I even feel pity for my C, C Finance and uh, CFO because to, everyone is on their phones. Because everyone wants their company paid, you know? And so, when you, Senator, you're asking that, I wanted you, because I know the standing orders, you need to declare whether you have interest in any company that is doing that, uh, instead of pontificating here about whether that problem is a problem that is facing the, the city today. But that would be fair, you know? It, it would be fair for you to be able to, to, to declare it. So I have not gone to the registrar to know if that company belongs to you, but you have been asking for payments for certain companies. You have introduced me to people close to you, who are owners of those companies, just be open and tell members. Yeah, I don't know if you have a pending bill in this list. In fact, I would like to see whether your company is one of them here. I would go through it and see whether it is one of them. But in Nairobi County Government, you know, you know what your company does. You know, Senator Sifuna has been accused of owning a garbage. Uh, is it a solid waste company? I don't know of any. And he has never asked me for a payment of a solid waste. 
But if you had, you know that. <laughs> no, done. So, so you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, in, in, instead of using this opportunity to try and uh, paint the county as if it is not working, Senator, be fair, you know. Appreciate, you're, you're a leader in Nairobi as well. Appreciate the challenge, just how the, the substantive senator said, yes, there's this problem we've seen in certain areas. Why is it not sorted? And I'm telling you, look, if we don't have exchequer releases, because we have to pay contractors, most of it goes to pay salaries. The vehicles need to be fueled. Those contractors need to be paid. But we're moving into that, not just circular economy, because most of our, 60% of, of our trash in Nairobi is organic. You know, a lot of it can actually be dealt with at the household level. The circular economy, the material recovery facilities, you know. Um, and, and, and so I would love to have another opportunity to come explain to the people of Kenya and Nairobi how this city is going to be clean and going back to that cleanliness. We're the only country who has hired 3,000 people, 500 of our young people. Many of them, in fact, we thought that many of them would uh, quit after the first few months because, you know, when you employ people, bring, you know, their friends or whatnot. But they have stuck to it. They do an amazing job. But then you find that they have removed the trash, it stays by the road, and it stays there for a long time, because then the trucks don't have fuel, and they don't have fuel because the collections that we're making, and I'm very proud, yes, we've collected 12.8 billion, never done by a county before. This year we're actually going to hit the 20 billion. We're doing regularization of, 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 of buildings, we're going to do a section of properties, we're going to get to 20 billion shillings. In fact, we'll... <laughs> Too many things, you know. To, that's why you're a finance committee. Look, look at the financial statements of the county, you know. And so, and, 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 and so that's a, that's a direction. You have a minute to conclude. And that's a direction of going. Chair, my response on, uh, because you've addressed those two issues, very quickly on the third one, the reason why Floka has not been affected in Nairobi was because of the lack of uh, climate change uh, legislation um, in the county. No, no. That, on that one, I've mm -hmm. given you the chance to respond in two weeks. Okay. That's, all, that's all right. That's so all right. I was only saying in your closing remarks you have a minute okay. uh, because I've, I've uh, controlled the members not to ask yeah. follow-up questions and I'm happy whatever that uh, he ask, uh, you were asking has been responded to. Che, che. And Senator Sifuna, uh, he just clarified that he's not the registrar. Uh, so he has not managed to check whether you have some interest or not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, but, but yeah, you would know interest based no, on the, li the or, line. Or, uh, anyway, that was on a lighter note. <laughs> so, so. Yeah, Jen, in conclusion. he must have been really lynched for him to come up and uh, try and put that issue across. I've never even had that allegation. But yeah, in, in conclusion, um, the county government of Nairobi is as interested, and I'm, I'm happy you said that you always get to the logical conclusion of matters. We're interested in the logical conclusion of these NMS uh, issues. Because, uh, Chair, money was used for projects that are not concluded. The people of Nairobi can't benefit from it. The county can't take over those, uh, those uh, projects until they, have, until they have concluded. So so I hope that in the next meeting we can also have them um, to, to, so, so that we, we do it. Okay. Chair, can I assume that we're meeting in two weeks or... Not as you assuming it is Castle It has been directed, and you will have a written communication on the date in two weeks' time. Uh, I'll put in my calendar 18th yeah, of July. In two weeks' time, you'll have a letter that will follow up before end of day tomorrow oh, to I, that effect. Actually, Chair, I would ask that we, we, we consult on, on the date uh, kindly. That's not a problem. Because I've just seen that is a week. Uh, I, I told my senator I'm, I'm in a Bloomberg Harvard uh, class from the 15th uh, now, in New York. That is not so a we problem. Can More or less within two weeks plus or minus a few days. That is fine. Moshua uh, Governor Karibu with your team, and I'm happy we've engaged. This is going to help you in terms of whatever engagement we are doing as Senate in order to make sure you have a systematic way of doing what you are doing. And Nairobi City County is able to realize its potential. Uh, when you are invited, Nawe Pia Jikakamue Kufika or Katunate. Otherwise, I just want to say Karibuni Sana and you are free to leave as we conclude the meeting. Karibuni. Mugutano, Ajaisha Mugutano, Mwachilio again.
And the honorable members, there being no any other business, the meeting stands adjourned. Thank you.